Right now, a man is in custody after a series of stabbings in Rockford. The details, including the names of those killed. Plus, ramping up the search for missing Elijah Vu. We'll show you how the community is renewing their efforts to find the three-year-old. And another uh, chilly start to the morning. Temperatures in the uh, 20s. Some mild weather, though, on the way for the weekend. More coming up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Happy Friday. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. Good Friday. Got Easter weekend coming up. Uh, a lot of outdoor events going on. That's we right. got March Madness tonight. A lot to get to. A lot to get to, including those uh, uh, heartbreaking and tragic developments out of Rockford after the stabbing spree earlier this week. First, though, let's get to Kelly Slifka and that first one forecast and what we should expect today. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, it is a, another chilly start to the uh, morning, but I think this will be the, uh, the last really cold morning going over the next 10 days. We do have some milder weather on the way, but it's uh, chilly. Need that winter jacket. 22 in Madison, 25 in Middleton, Brooklyn at 22 as well. So maybe a little bit of frost this morning with the uh, light winds. Low 50s expected today. Uh, that'll continue this weekend. Now we do have some rain coming in. This will be mainly later this evening through the overnight tonight. May linger through tomorrow morning, but after that it should be quiet this weekend. Temperatures pretty close to our average as we head into the lower 50s. Now we do have some rain chances mainly coming in tonight. Should taper off tomorrow morning. Then again, Sunday night and especially Monday, Monday night into Tuesday of next week. That looks like a, a longer duration system that all of us will benefit from uh, going into next week. Uh, uh, future track, uh, looking at some clouds thickening up throughout the morning hours. Low 40s here at the uh, noon hour should be tapping out. Generally in the low, maybe some mid 50s. Can't rule out a spotty shower rolling through during the rush hour into the dinner hour. I think the more widespread rain will come in as we go through later this evening. Meantime, temperatures starting off chilly this morning, but warming through the 30s into the 40s by the noon hour. Talk more about those rain chances coming away tonight and that weekend forecast coming up. All right, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> To our continuing coverage now of the stabbing spree in Rockford, Illinois. We're learning more about the victims. Four were killed, five others injured. Authorities have identified the four people killed as 63-year-old Ramona Schupak, 23-year-old Jacob Schupak, 49-year-old Jay Larson, and 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb. Authorities have in custody this morning 22-year-old Christian Soto of Rockford. He is charged with several counts of murder and attempted murder. We're learning many more details of just how this all unfolded. In an interview with police last night, Soto said that he was at his friend's house smoking some weed. He believes it was laced with another drug, making him paranoid. He told police he then grabbed the knife from the kitchen, which he then used to attack and kill three of the victims. Police say Soto then broke into multiple homes and in one of those houses, he's accused of attacking three teenage girls with a baseball bat, beating one of them to death. When you think about these four, they were doing what we all do, what you should all be doing. It's spring break. You have three girls watching a movie. I can't even comprehend that. One person, a bystander who stepped in as Soto was attacking another woman is still in the hospital this morning. Again, Soto remains in custody. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll hear more from what the community had to say about the killing spree. Agencies from across the state are taking the search for missing three-year-old Elijah Vu to another level. They have conducted a wide-scale search west of the Two Rivers area. Dozens of drone team operators used thermal imaging in an effort to find the missing boy. The community has not given up hope. Hope that they can find him now that they've concentrated that effort. I, I'm not sure what they've done before, but that really made me hopeful. Currently, Elijah's mother and her boyfriend are both in jail facing child neglect charges, but no one has been charged in his disappearance. It's been over a month since Elijah Vu's disappearance in that Amber Alert. It was Monday, February 12th. Elijah's mother, Katrina Bauer, dropped him off to her boyfriend, Jesse Vang, in Two Rivers. That's where investigators say the three-year-old experienced abusive forms of discipline. Eight days later, Vu disappeared while Vang was napping. Vang reported Elijah missing, triggering that Amber Alert that we all got. Vang was then arrested on suspicion of child neglect later that day. The next day, February 21st, Katrina Bauer is arrested on suspicion of being party to a crime of child neglect. Officials and community members searched for the missing boy and did not have much of a breakthrough until March 18th, 11 days ago, 
That's when local police announced that they found Elijah's blanket. Searchers will be out again today. We'll share updates on that search and updates in the Rockford stabbings on the Rockford on the Channel 3000 News app. Time is 604 now. Next Tuesday is Election Day here in Wisconsin and Wisconsinites will get the opportunity to weigh in on two constitutional amendments next week dealing with the state's elections. One question. Should Wisconsin cities be able to accept outside money for their elections? And should outside contractors be able to help cities run their elections? This has been something conservatives have been working on since 2020, and they say some of the money went toward the state's largest cities, which lean Democratic. You know, there's a good chance that, that these will pass. Um, and I think it could be a good driver of turnout as well. You know, in, in an election where there's not um, a, a race for uh, either presidential, you know, at the top of the ballot, um, this could be something absolutely that would drive a conservative turnout particularly. Opponents of these amendments say they could depress turnout, especially if the state doesn't help these cities pull off their elections. This will be the last stop for these amendments. If voters approve them, they become the newest part of the state's constitution. Backers of former President Donald Trump are trying again to recall Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. Petitioners say the new recall effort is for Voss's support of the Chinese Communist Party and flagrant disrespect for his own constituents by calling them whack jobs, morons, and idiots. The first stalled recall was for not impeaching the state's top election official and for not stopping the certification of President Biden's victory in 2020. So far, Voss has not commented on these latest recall efforts. To Baltimore now, where the cleanup efforts are set to begin this week after the bridge collapse. Two barges equipped with cranes are arriving soon to help remove some of that debris that's left over. Officials warn it will be a long process to reopen the port to ships and much longer to rebuild the bridge. CBS News correspondent Jared Hill has the latest details from New York. New video from the National Transportation Safety Board shows the immense task ahead. Sections of the bridge wound around the ship that brought it down. This vessel is almost the size of the Eiffel Tower, and the only difference is, is that it now has the key bridge support, laying on top of it. Engineering teams are figuring out the best way to cut the bridge up so it can be lifted off of the ship. Our number one priority is to reopen the Port of Baltimore as fast as we can and do it safely. The Biden administration has approved $60 million in emergency funds to deal with the aftermath, including rebuilding the bridge. This work will not take hours. This work will not take days. This work will not just take weeks. We have a very long road ahead of us. Four construction workers are still missing, but their bodies won't be recovered until more debris is removed. See you on the, other side. the brother of one of them, Minority Asir Swaso Sandoval, told CBS News he wishes he could have stopped him from going to work that night. Two workers did survive the collapse. Okay. Moises Diaz says his friend Julio Cervantes escaped out of the window of his sinking truck. He thought, I'm going to die here, but his friend made it out safely, even though he can't swim. Those who live nearby are still in shock about the disaster. It's just surreal. It's just like I can't wrap my mind around the fact that that whole bridge is actually gone. For ships that had planned stops at one of the busiest ports in the U.S., it's unclear how long this waiting game will last. Jared Hill, CBS News. The port handles more vehicles and farm equipment than any other port in the U.S. All right, Kelly, what's coming up in weather? Well, we got a, another chilly start through the morning. Some clouds have been moving in. Should be a mild afternoon. We do have some rain showers in our forecast. Well, the first morning forecast just ahead. And still ahead in morning sports, Wisconsin women's basketball facing off against Illinois State in the WINNIT. We'll tell you about it coming up next. And it is the final Friday of the month, so we're taking some time to slow things down and look back at the best of March in the 608. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. 
Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide. So there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan the call now. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. BMO! We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. It's the final Friday of the month in the 608. That means Josh Spryder is here this morning with his March recap in the 608. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. It was a busy month in the 608 with both some new features and old traditions on News 3 Now this morning. Take a look at just some of the memories we made in March. <laughs> Oh, wow! He goes down, but he's right back up. Here we go. I want to see a one-timer. He shoots. There he we go. So you never know what's going to happen in live TV. It is cookie season. This time, I'm just going to take a small bite, Shane. Last time, you probably noticed I threw the whole cookie in my mouth. I learned my lesson. I just got so excited. We're like a cookie monster in here. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. We're going to see who is going to be this year's champ. No, you stretch out. <laughs> That's a better stretchy. <laughs> Contestants are going to get one minute to eat as much as they can. We're off to the races. I just can't believe how fast they're eating the pie. Three, two, and one. There it is. We are done. Oh, the mayor. The mayor. Here's the trophy. I know you're going to get it all day. <laughs> this is amazing. I took you down. They're saying upset alert back in the studio. <laughs> all right, Laura, let's see your best shuffle. We're getting ready for that shamrock shuffle. So you're going to help me learn the Irish jig. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to point your right foot out in front. You're going to bring it up to your knee, and then you're going to put it in back and do three steps. One, two, three. Then we have a special ending. So you're going to bring your foot up to your knee, then you're going to put it in back, put it in back again, and do three steps. One, two, three. And there you go. There Let's we go. Try it to some music. All right. One, two, ready, go. Point in me, hop back, step, step, step. Point me, hop back, step, step, step. Point me, hop back, step, step, step. Me, hop back, hop back, step, step, step. And point and bow. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. Well, that's fun.
<laughs> well, that was fun. All right, let's do. Let's that see the jig. You no, still you guys jig. should have been studying. Nah, That's yeah. what next year we're you gonna have that. all of you guys do it. I'm down I've been for doing that. It for like four years now. <laughs> what a month! I feel like March is one of the busiest months because we have all the traditional things oh, right here. Such a on good one. The morning right? show, right. but yeah, yeah. Patty's Day, lot to get to. Yes. Oh my gosh, it was a fun one. April's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to Tuesday. We're gonna be heading to Amfam Field. Can't for wait the for that home opener. So it's gonna be another uh, good month coming up. Looking forward to it. And you can always watch Josh's features by going to channel3000.com slash in the 608. Thank you, Josh. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. All right, quarter after six, Kelly Slifka is on the patio. Another cold start to the morning, Kelly. It is, and uh, the birds are up already, and they are chirping away this morning, uh, watching the uh, sun come up on the eastern horizon. We do have a little bit of sunshine in our forecast, but a little bit more cloud cover later today. Now, we got all that rain earlier in the week, but, you know, it did not hit the areas that really need it. We still have that severe drought that is up near the Dells. You can see that darker orange shading. Uh, most of the rain fell from Madison areas to the east, and that's why uh, not much of a drought concern right now. But we do have some more rain in our forecast as we go forward. Not until tonight, though. It looks like uh, the shower chances will come in this evening. It does not look like it's going to hit the areas that it really needs to hit, those areas to the northwest of Madison. But needless to say, we do have some wet weather coming away tonight. Then a dry period for the rest of the weekend. And then Monday of next week, I think all of us will get in on some chilly rains to start next week. Now, as far as the next 24 hours, our chance of rain really doesn't ramp up until after 10 o'clock. There might be a shower as we get toward the dinner hour, but better chances toward midnight and thereafter. Then that should dissipate by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning. Yeah, there might be a shower lingering in the morning hours, but it should be done with going into tomorrow afternoon. Today, temperatures in the lower 50s, so even a little bit milder than yesterday, even though we will see more cloud cover today. The southeast winds will help warm us up. We'll see those clouds thicken up throughout the morning hours and see some of these showers spreading in here. You're at 10 o'clock and noticing it's mainly from uh, basically south of the Wisconsin River Valley. That's where the better chances of rain will happen uh, to, tonight into early tomorrow morning. And then all that moves on to the east. And we'll all get into some sunshine. It should be a pretty decent Saturday afternoon. Meantime, we do have those clouds that will thicken up. We're in the 20s this morning. Should be in the 40s here early this afternoon, topping out in the lower 50s. You notice a shower possibly popping up toward the dinner hour. Those should be pretty brief. I think the more widespread showers will be occurring as we get closer to, to a midnight. But you notice most of that falling uh, south of the Dells uh, toward Madison, Janesville area. Seeing some of those showers. That should be out of here by tomorrow morning. And then we'll get into some sunshine and mild temperatures tomorrow afternoon. Low 50s expected. Right now it's chilly though. 22 in Madison. Need that winter jacket this morning. 27 in Janesville. 22 in Watertown across Dane County. 28 in Sauk City. 29 in Mount Horb in Oregon, Stoughton 29, 28 in Rockdale. All right, 52 today with the clouds thickening up. Maybe a shower early tomorrow morning, then some sun in the afternoon, low 50s. Easter Sunday, generally dry, a little bit more cloud cover. Can't rule out a spotty shower later in the afternoon. Better chances uh, going into the evening overnight. And then some chilly rains, at least for a couple more days after we get through that. It's looking much better, much brighter, much warmer. Temperatures well into the uh, 60s by Friday going into next weekend. Almost 13 years ago to the day was the last time the Wisconsin women hosted a game in the WNIT. Their opponent in 2011 was the same as theirs this season. Illinois State. The Redbirds won that meeting. Badgers, though, looking to advance to the great eight, and to no surprise, Ronnie Porter was getting it done in every which way possible. The stop and pop, part of her 13 points. She also had six assists and eight rebounds. That bucket put Bucky up too early. Then later, they're going to work it inside to Sarah Williams. She spins and wins for two plus one. Williams finished with a team high 18 points, and the route was on. Then later, it's Sanaya Copeland dialing one up from the nitty gritty. She was three of four from deep. Copeland also dropped an 18. Badgers blow out the Redbirds 86 61 and keep their season alive. On the men's side, two days after entering the NBA draft while maintaining college eligibility, AJ Storr has entered the transfer portal. So nothing has changed from Tuesday except if he decides to stay in college. Probably won't be playing at Wisconsin next season. 
and neither will Gus Yaldin. The freshman big man also entered the transfer portal, bringing the total to five Badgers looking for new homes. Bucks back in action, taking on the Pelicans, and the third quarter belonged to Giannis. Chris Middleton with the alley, and Giannis slams home the oop. He scored 21 straight points for the Bucks in the quarter, but it wouldn't be enough. Milwaukee falls 107 to 100. It's been quite the turnaround for the Badger men's hockey program. 26 wins, a second place finish in conference, and a trip back to the NCAA tournament, which for Wisconsin starts tonight. UW drops the puck against Quinnipiac, and Mike Hastings' squad enters confident that they can make a run to St. Paul because they've been battle-tested night in and night out in the Big Ten. It probably does prep you pretty good for the uh, national tournament, and we also had a pretty hard non-conference schedule too, so I think it definitely helped us and prepped us for this tournament, but I also think at this point of the year, like, you could be any team and you have, you have the right mindset, right effort, right attitude. You can go in and whatever happens, happens. It's hockey. So I think we just got to stick to that mindset and we'll be just fine. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. Thank you, Zach. You too. Coming up next, how officials are helping people bet safely on sports. And in our next half hour, the No Labels organization working to put its presidential candidate on the Wisconsin ballot. What comes next? And as we had to break this morning, we're taking a look at gas prices. We're back right after this. Eric Franke, News 3 Now at 5, 6, and 10, moving forward. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99, plus advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. Madison's most spectacular night out is Moulin Rouge, the musical. Winner of 10 Tony Awards, including Best Musical. The New York Times calls it dazzling, gasp-inspiring. In Moulin Rouge, life is beautiful. Performances begin July 9th at Overture Center. Tickets at Overture.org. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower, so he went right to work on it. I think he's procrastinating. For a new bathtub or shower, just call 1-800-HANSONS. Installed in as little as one day with optional safety features and a no-leak guarantee. Get 60% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. During Chevy truck season, get 0.9% financing on all 2023 and 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or qualified lessees can get this Silverado for $4.99 a month. After my son was born, I was having a hard time leaving him. Only being able to see him once before going to work and then once before bed, that's just not enough time. At my old job, my entire check went to daycare to pay to be away from my child. We bring our kids with us in the mornings and they ride with us on our routes and then they go to school. I'm on a route where I'm the one dropping my kids off at school. It's been phenomenal. Being able to bring them with me has been really great for our family. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. 
And we're back sharing Gwen's morning with you. Good morning, sunshine. Love it. Uh, Gwen is always a ray of sunshine for us. Uh, she sends Absolutely. us wonderful pictures. She's a loyal viewer. Uh, she, the, the messages she sends us are always filled with such positivity and optimism. We thank her for that. Well said. And this picture this morning. Well said. Shane, what are we talking about? All right, well, we know this is one of the best times of the year when it comes to sports. We've got March Madness. Sure. The Major League Baseball season uh -huh. just started yesterday. So much other stuff going on as well. But it also means a crazy time for sports betting. Right. Now, according to the national, to national data from the NCAA, 58% of 18 to 22 year olds have engaged in at least one sports betting activity. Now, officials are launching the Youth Sports Betting Safety Coalition, spearheaded by former Massachusetts governor and now NCAA president Charlie Baker. He says they're pushing states to also ban uh, prop bets. So, you know, how many right. points is that player going to score? Blah, blah, blah. Who wins the opening tip off? Right. Things like that. Now, that, you know, because that can add some additional pressure when it's that individual performance. So, this uh, coalition will be a collaborative effort to try to educate people on sports betting, trying to teach, you know, younger folk who are uh -huh. getting involved uh -huh. and trying to, you know, teach a way to do it responsibly. Right. You know, gambling, obviously, very. Uh, addictive very uh, addicting mm -hmm. uh, but there's also big business here Absolutely. so when you're talking about profits there's a lot of power and influence and stuff like that you know if you think of this as alcohol tobacco mm -hmm. cigarettes stuff like that um, and we teach that stuff in schools that's part of you know on, uh, yeah. public curriculum right. growing up so if we maybe include that and uh, get kids to thinking about you know the very real uh, potential dangers yeah. or risks of betting, I think that would do a lot of good. Yeah, not legal yet here in Wisconsin, but who knows? I mean, the country's right. definitely trending that way. So yeah, it's, good it's, reminders. it's a juggernaut that's hard to avoid Absolutely. at the moment. More News 3 Now this morning right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty bagel sandwiches paired with a caramel frappe. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab and smile and in each five minute application you'll see whiter teeth so stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the power swabs five minute solution my absolute favorite thing was how easy it was it takes literally less than five minutes i like my smile i like my smile after finishing the power swabs this is a power swab smile this is a power swab smile this is a power swab smile Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 50% off and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. 
Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. Desire to say something that will bring forth comfort, but I can't find the words. This morning, heartbreaking reaction to the slangs in Rockford and the reason the attacker says that he went on the stabbing spree. Plus, state officials are talking about letting schools start the year earlier. We'll hear what parents think and the arguments from the tourism industry. And a live look outside this morning. A beautiful sunrise. Beautiful shot over the Madison skyline. Kelly, wouldn't you agree? It is beautiful, but... Ooh. Need that jacket. Uh, 20s this morning. It is another chilly start to the morning. Should be a little bit milder this afternoon, and uh, we are tracking some rain showers tonight. More on that coming up. Why you do that to us? That Kelly? was a big butt. Why you bring us down like that? <laughs> hey, he's the I'm the messenger. Come on. <laughs> hey, good Friday morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to News Three Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. I'm Shane Hogan. Yeah, busy Friday. Good Friday. Easter weekend is here. We've got the NCAA tournament. We've got a lot to talk about, yeah. and uh, some cold temps still too. Right, uh, a couple of rain chances in the forecast as well with you know all those Easter festivities out there. Yeah. Easter Bunny is gonna be very busy <laughs> with all those Easter egg hunts out there. Let's check in with Kelly Slifka and uh, find out what we are in for today. Hey Kelly. Yeah, you know, most of the weekend is gonna be dry. We just have to deal with some showers that'll be moving in later this evening. Should be dry for most of Saturday, most of Sunday. By Sunday night and Monday, that's when we'll have another chance of some showers. It should be relatively mild as temperatures get uh, very close to 50, pretty close to where we should be uh, for this time of the year. But it is a, a chilly start to the morning again, 22 in Madison, 21 in uh, Windsor, Cottage Grove, 22 Middleton currently at 25. So uh, looking at uh, pretty close to average temperatures going through the weekend. Then we've got another system that'll move in early next week, bringing us some chilly rains only in the 40s, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. But look at how those temperatures climb by next weekend. So about a week from now into the following weekend, we are looking at uh, very mild temperatures, maybe getting close to 70 for some. Uh, today, we will see some of these high thin clouds filter out the sun as temperatures climb into the lower to middle 40s at the noon hour. Low 50s today, can't rule out a spotty shower as we get toward the La rush hour toward the dinner hour. I think the better chance will help hold off until after 10 o'clock, getting closer to, to uh, midnight. Do have some of those high thin clouds already streaming in, but that really did not prevent us from dropping well down into the 20s. The winds are calm. Temperatures rising through the 30s into the 40s uh, this uh, at the noon hour. Talk more about those rain chances and we'll track those shower chances coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, Kelly, thank you. We begin this morning in Rockford. We're learning new details about the man who went on a killing spree killing four people and injuring several more. News 3 Now sent a crew to Rockford to get some more information, and we have enough information to identify everyone basically involved. 22-year-old Christian Soto is identified as the attacker. He is facing charges this morning of several counts of murder and attempted murder. Soto claims that he smoked laced weed at a friend's house that made him paranoid. There, he grabbed a knife from the kitchen and killed three people. Soto then broke into homes where he attacked three teenage girls with a bat, killing one of them, 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb. Those details left even law enforcement officers in shock. I'm a rock 40 and born and raised. And such a tragic event does not define, does not represent this community. As a leader of the Rockford Police Department, I can tell you we're hurting as well. We're also learning more about the other victims' deaths. 63-year-old Ramona Schupbach, her son, 23-year-old Jacob Schupbach. Soto stabbed Ramona to death, then chased Jacob out of the home and stabbed him. Soto then ran Jacob over with a pickup truck. The victim's friends left shattered. It's not that easy to come by people like this. They're so genuine, so nice, and for this to happen, like, I can't, I don't understand this. I, I can't accept this. Then there's the fourth victim, 49-year-old Jay Larson. He was a veteran of the U.S. Postal Service. He was delivering mail when Soto stabbed him and ran him over. Soto will be in court next week. If convicted, he faces a maximum penalty of 60 years in prison for each murder. The attacks caught the attention of President Biden, who issued a statement yesterday. It reads, in part, Jill and I are praying for those families 
of those who lost loved ones and hoping that all those injured make a full recovery. This tragic event is a reminder that we must continue to ensure that our police and first responders have the support they need to do their jobs and keep us safe. News through now will continue to provide updates as we follow this case from Rockford. You can stay informed with the free Channel 3000 mobile app. This morning, this is what the front page of the Wall Street Journal looks like. The paper commemorating the first anniversary of the Russian detention of journalist Evan Gershkovic. Russian officials arrested Gershkovic while he was reporting there. They're accusing him of trying to get state secrets, a charge that he and the Wall Street Journal deny. The blank space on the front page of today's paper will be accompanied by the words, a year in Russian prison, a year of stolen stories, stolen joys, stolen memories, the crime, journalism. Time is 634 back here in Wisconsin. No Labels is asking the Election Commission to put its candidates on the state's 2024 general election ballot. The group touts itself as a middle ground for voters feeling alienated by both parties. This news days after the group's founding chairman, U.S. Senator, former U.S. Senator and vice presidential candidate Joe Lieberman passed away. Just last week, Lieberman said he felt voters needed an alternative. Now, the WEC is determining if No Label's petition contains valid signatures. Before you vote in that election, you'll have the chance to weigh in on two constitutional amendments on Tuesday. Wisconsin question number one asks if cities should be allowed to accept private donations and grant money to help administer state elections. Wisconsin question number two asks if only people designated as election officials by law should be able to administer elections. Legislative Republicans support the amendments. Democrats oppose both of them. Republicans cite concerns over voter fraud as the reason they want the amendments. Democrats say it would depress voter turnout, especially if the state doesn't pitch in to help cities pull off their elections. If voters approve the amendments, they'll become part of the state's constitution. Universities of Wisconsin might see a tuition increase next year. UW President Jay Rothman is proposing the entire system increase prices by 3.75%. With room and board costs factored in, the average cost for, of attendance for undergrads goes up 3.8%. This would be the second year in a row for a tuition increase after the legislature lifted a 10-year tuition freeze. Last year, tuition went up 4.2% on average. Here's what that would look like across different campuses. UW Madison's tuition would uh, go up about $11,500. UW Milwaukee would cost $10,400. And UW La Crosse would almost go up by $10,000 as well. UW Parkside would nearly cost uh, $8,300. The Board of Regents will vote on the increase on April 4th. The debate over when to start the school year is back. State education officials are proposing letting schools start the year earlier, but the state's tourism ministry continues to push back. They need the teenagers off school to work. Our Armand Rahman reports on how the discussion is evolving. Right now, administrative rule in Wisconsin says school has to start on or after September 1st. The Department of Public Instruction can grant exemptions for extraordinary reasons like major construction projects or a force of nature that causes a school to close. But they want to make those reasons a bit less extraordinary. Ethan and Lucas Kimball are on spring break right now. But with summer break right around the corner, their dad, Lane, believes... I think it's important to not end summer too early. But the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction wants to leave that up to schools. Clear that these school districts um, and communities want this. Since 2020, they've seen more school boards request to start before September 1st. Last school year, there were 61 requests, and this year, 101. DPI officials say they want to expand the reasons to grant those requests. Um, things like student graduation rates, uh, reading and math proficiency, school attendance, and uh, th there is research that shows, you know, just having the, the, the just having students do those different instructional practices and starting earlier will help them perform better. Some parents, like Kimball, don't see how it would help if the kids are going to have a long Labor Day weekend anyway. To me, the proficiency argument there is null and void because you've already erased those first three or four days. Why not just start fresh right away that Tuesday after? I reached out to other parents about changing the start date. One mother says a shorter summer would help her child with special needs more. Kimball says he does like the idea of giving districts more control. I think what Oregon does really well here is they put out a survey every year asking parents, hey, what do you think about our upcoming calendar? But Wisconsin tour industry worries. It would be a pretty devastating impact. The president of the Wisconsin Hotel 
Hotel and Lodging Association says August is their busiest month. The, the impact would, would really be felt in our workforce. Um, many lodging facilities and, and tourism businesses in general uh, employ high school students and college age students. Um, you know, that would be leaving earlier. And for families like the Kimballs, it's important to spend more time with the kids after a summer of camps. Every parent's like, okay, when is summer vacation going to end, right? And there, there's that importance of let's have that last family getaway, that last vacation, finish out the summer strong. The DPI says they received overwhelming public support for allowing the flexibility. After reviewing that, they'll revise the rule and send it to Governor Evers for one last check before the legislature reviews it. Well, hey, we now know half of the field moving on to the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament. Of the four Sweet 16 games last night, three of them were decided by five points or less. Illinois beat Iowa State. Alabama took down number one seed North Carolina. UConn won big over San Diego State. That one was a blowout. And number six, the number six seed, Clemson, upset number two seed, Arizona. The four winners will play in the Elite Eight starting tomorrow night. The other four Sweet 16 games happen tonight. You can catch two of them right here on CBS. At 6.09, my Marquette Golden Eagles take on NC State, followed by Duke versus Houston. So, programming note for you, News 3 Now at 6 will air at 5.30, right after the 5 o'clock show. And our 10 p.m. show will air when the other games are over. It's going to be a fun night of basketball. 6.40. Kelly, what's coming up? Yeah, yeah, a chilly start to the morning. We do have a little bit of sunshine with some high, thin clouds. We'll look at some milder temperatures today, but we're tracking some showers tonight. More coming up. And it's the final Friday of the month, so we're taking some time to slow things down and look back at the best of March in the 608. Take up to a bonus 10% off furniture with any mattress purchase over $4.99. The Easter weekend beat the clock sale is Friday, Saturday, and Monday only at Ashley. Save up to $600 instantly on Beautyrest Black, plus special financing for 60 months only at Ashley. Bet you didn't see that. Or that. But if you were an Atlas with front assist and could detect things in .02 seconds, you'd see every scene hidden in this commercial. Let's slow it down and see. Huh, it's a man walking his dogs and a woman walking her dinosaurs? .02 seconds. It's quicker than the blink of an eye. The Atlas with front assist. Hop in. It's a VW. Get 1.9% APR financing or a $3,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary event. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. It's like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. So switch to T-Mobile now and get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. It's better over here. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Hop on over to Ashley for the Easter Weekend Beat the Clock Sale. We're closed Easter Sunday, but shop Friday, Saturday, and Monday for big savings on our top looks store-wide. Plus, special financing for 60 months. And bonus discounts up to an extra 10% off our sale prices, only at Ashley. Have a great night and do something good. I started saying it because I was just so tired of all the bad news in the world. People are out there doing great things. I've experienced it. And believe me, it can change your day. Tell us about the good you see. Go to Channel 3000 or post it using the hashtag do something good. I'll share your stories on News 3 Now. Our community is full of wonderful giving people. Let's celebrate them together. 
Let's do something good. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. And we're back with a live look at St. Peter's Square in Vatican City on this Good Friday. The Pope will lead a procession today when Catholics around the globe commemorate the crucifixion. For the first time, Pope Francis will write his own meditations for the procession. Okay, very cool. It's a beautiful location, St. Peter's Square. I was lucky enough to uh, be there for a full day a couple of years ago. If you have a chance, highly recommend it. It is gorgeous. I'd love to see that someday. 644, checking in with Kelly Slifka. He's got your certified most accurate forecast on the patio. How's it feeling out there? Uh, feeling cold. Uh, another cold start to our morning. Uh, I think most of us are kind of done with these uh, really chilly mornings. And there is some good news as far as that's concerned. The uh, coldest of mornings are probably behind us now. We are looking at some milder temperatures uh, going into the uh, weekend. In fact, actually this afternoon will be a little bit warmer than yesterday as we head into the lower 50s, pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. Actually have a southeast wind that will develop along a front. That will bring us some showers that will be developing later this evening, more likely toward midnight, a little bit more widespread rain. Then I think generally dry for the weekend until we get into a Sunday night and Monday. That's when we are expecting another system to bring us some rain. Do see uh, some of these high thin clouds that will filter out the sun. Those are spreading across southern Wisconsin, but with a little bit of a solar radiation coming down we should warm up to about 52 which is a little bit above our average which now is 49 the sun will be up here shortly so the uh, rain chances you know, might see a rain shower early this evening i think the better chances will hold off until after 10 o'clock or so through the overnight period so that's the good news this will be mainly while we're sleeping when you wake up tomorrow morning there might be a lingering shower here and there but as the morning wears on that chance of rain uh, diminishes so we're right on the edge of that cool air up to the north mild air to the south in between uh, we will have that system come in from the south. That'll bring us that chance of rain tonight. And then we're fairly mild, seasonable temperatures, it looks like, going into the weekend. Another system will move in. That'll bring us some chilly rains, it looks like, by Monday and Tuesday of next week. A lot of warm air, though, building off to the west. And that looks like that'll be moving on to the east and reaching us by the later part of next week, going into next weekend. Talking about temperatures, that could be flirting with 70 for some. Uh, today, we'll look at filtered sunshine. Temperatures climbing into the low 40s here at the noon hour should be tapping out in the low to mid 50s. Maybe a shower developing as we get toward the dinner hour, but I think the better chances will hold off until later this evening, say 10, 11 o'clock, midnight. Some of the areas up to the north, north of the Wisconsin River Valley, might not see much, and they really need the rain. They still are under that severe drought. But we are looking at drier weather come our way tomorrow afternoon, and we should actually get into some sunshine. Should be a pretty nice Saturday afternoon with low to mid 50s. 22 right now in Madison, 21 in Watertown, 27 in Janesville, Lone Rock at 20. Across Dane County, it's 28 in Sauk City, 29 in Cross Plains and Mount Horeb, Cottage Grove, 28. First warm forecast keeps it pretty seasonable for the weekend, low 50s. Rain showers tonight should be out of here early tomorrow morning, then some sun in the afternoon. A little bit more cloud cover Easter Sunday. That chance of rain mainly later in the day, to, uh, Sunday night into Monday with 40s. But we quickly rebound into the uh, 60s by the end of next week. All right, Kelly, thank you. 647. Hey, it's the final Friday of the month in the 608. Which means our Josh Spryder is here this morning with a March Recap. Morning, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. It was a busy month in the 608 with both some new features and old traditions on News 3 Now this morning. Take a look at just some of the memories we made in March. Oh, All right, let's oh, 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 he goes down, but he's right back up. Here we go. I want to see a one timer. He shoots. There he we go. So you never know what's going to happen in live TV. It is cookie season. This time I'm just going to take a small bite, Shane. Last time you probably noticed I threw the whole cookie in my mouth. I learned my lesson. I just got so excited. We're like a cookie monster in here. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. We're going to see who is going to be this year's champ. Yeah, yeah, stretch out. The mouth. Yeah. <laughs> That's a better stretchy. <laughs> Contestants are going to get one minute to eat as much as they can. We're off to the races. I just can't believe how fast they're eating the pie. Three, two, and one. There it is. We are done. Oh, the mayor. The mayor. Here's the trophy. I know you're going to get it all day. <laughs> this is amazing. So they're saying upset alert back in the studio. <laughs> all right, Laura, let's see your best shuffle. We're getting ready for that shamrock shuffle. 
you're gonna help me learn the Irish jig. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna point your right foot out in front, you're gonna bring it up to your knee, and then you're gonna put it in back and do three steps. One, two, three. Then we have a special ending. So you're gonna bring your foot up to your knee, then you're gonna put it in back, put it in back again, and do three steps. One, two, three. And there you go. There Let's we go. Try to some music. All right. One, two, ready, go. Point and knee, hop back, step, step, step. Point, knee, hop back, step, step, step. Point, knee, hop back, step, step, step. Knee, hop back, hop back, step, step, step. And point and bow. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just like that. Well, that's fun. That's how I'm going to end every oh. segment. Well, well, that's fun. Isn't that special? <laughs> it was fun. That was a fun month. A lot you of wanna traditions. You want to show us that little Irish jig you learned? Uh, I'm good. Okay. I think I'll wait until next St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> once a year. Once a year. We just once get once a year. year. I'm in. better. There have okay. been some really clunky years. but <laughs> that, that was pretty good. That was not bad this yeah, year. Good for you. But I mean, I do it for like, what, 10 seconds? It's not like I do the whole thing. Like, they do that 90-second <laughs> yeah, showing cool. for us. Very work out. Work out. Wow. Good stuff this month, Josh. Another big one coming up here in April. Looking so. forward to it. Hey, Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with you folks at home. If you have an idea you want to see on TV, find him on social media or email him. Coming up in the morning sprint, we have all of today's top headlines. But first, we want to wish a happy third birthday uh, to Oliver Chandler. Hope you have a great one. We're back after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide. So there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan to call now. Looks like it costs a fortune. Actually, the Playscape sectional is just $9.99. Looks like it was crafted by a master carpenter. And it's just $9.99 every day. Looks like I can work with this. Check out those cup holders. Mm, cool. Cool. Looks like a unicorn cried happy tears all over it. Yeah, I can see that. When the looks you love go for less, there's only one thing to say. Oh my mom! Bob's Discount Furniture. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. Since Gruber Law Offices started in the 80s, we've been cheering on the true champions of Milwaukee, you and yours. We've helped thousands of injured victims get the compensation they deserve, celebrated our sports teams through ups and downs, and connected in the community by working together to make things better. We've been on this path together for 35 plus years. Our slogan says it all. Let's keep rising together. What's your lawn care plan for the summer? Having a Maple Leaf Lawn Care Maintenance Program means a better looking lawn and more free time for you. Check our website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year round property care experts. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer, only on News 3 Now. 
654, time for the morning sprint. We're learning more about the Rockford attacks that left four people dead and several others injured. Police have 22-year-old Christian Soto in custody this morning. They say he killed 63-year-old Ramona Schupach, her 23-year-old son Jacob, 49-year-old Jay Larson, and 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb. If Soto's found guilty on all of his charges, he could go to prison for 60 years per murder. Today is day two of a large coordinated search for Elijah Vu. The three-year-old vanished more than a month ago. Multiple agencies from across the state will search the Two Rivers area today. Right now, his mother and her boyfriend are in jail, charged with child neglect. No one's been charged in his disappearance. An Illinois man charged with threatening to kill his probation officer while in the Dane County Jail will go to federal prison for five and a half years. While in custody for trying to rob a Beloit Bank, 49-year-old Nikki Don Smith sent a letter to a U.S. probation officer identifying her by name and saying that he would kill her. Smith will serve three years of supervised release after getting out of prison. The federal government is giving Maryland $60 million to help it recover from the Baltimore Bridge collapse. That money will be used for initial recovery efforts. Rebuilding will likely cost hundreds of millions of dollars, and President Biden says that the federal government will pay for all of it. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss facing a new recall effort. After the first one stalled, the pro-Trump group filed paperwork to start Another recall effort, the first targeted Voss for his refusal to impeach Wisconsin's top election official. The second effort, this new one, accuses him of supporting the Chinese Communist Party. Speaker Voss has yet to comment on the latest recall effort. Now to a vehicle recall. Kia has recalled more than 427,000 Telluride SUVs. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says the SUV can roll away while in park. All Telluride vehicles made between 2020 and 2023 and certain 2024 models are affected. Owners should take that SUV to a Kia dealer. All right, good morning. Coming up on a 7 o'clock, waking up to some uh, chilly temperatures again this morning. We're down to 24 in Madison, 21 in the Dells. Jaysville at uh, 27. We do have some high thin clouds. They'll be with us, filtering out the uh, sun a little bit. Temperatures in the low 40s at the uh, noon hour should be tapping out in the low, maybe the mid 50s. Can't rule out a couple of showers developing later this afternoon. Better chances as we go through the late evening uh, toward midnight, especially in the Madison area. So counting on some clouds this afternoon, highs in the low 50s. All right. Have a good weekend and happy birthday, Chris Stanford. Well, thank you.